Hold on. We're good? All right. Uh, I call to order the October 23rd meeting of the Los Alamitos Planning Commission. Uh, could I have a roll call, please? Chair Riley. Here. Vice Chair Sofalkanik. Here. Commissioner Andred. Here. Commissioner Quilty. Here. Commissioner DeBolt. Here. Commissioner Gross. Here. And Commissioner Lowe. Here. Uh, please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, at this time we'll move on to oral communications. Uh, if there's anyone present tonight who would like to come up and speak on an item that is not on the agenda, uh, this would be the time to come forward and do so. Please uh, state your name. Is there a sign in there for him? Yeah. Yeah, sign in, state your name. Um, yeah, there is a sign in sheet here. Great, thank you. Uh, my name is Samir Hijazi, and uh, my address is. Uh, uh, 22021 Southwest Acacia Street, Suite Number 240, Newport Beach, California, 92660. Uh, I have uh, uh, sent a letter to the Commission in regards to the uh, last uh, meeting uh, vote uh, when we would like to see if there is a possibility to uh, uh, consider our request which consisted of two applications. The vote was delivered as the project, uh, as, as you recall, and we understand there was a lot of opposition from the public to the, uh, uh, to the car wash part of the project, but we really didn't feel that the, uh, the store itself or improving the site without the car wash was an unviable uh, 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 path to to go after uh, so we are asking that the uh, Commission look at the project as two applications and give us the opportunity to go back and uh, work with staff on uh, improving the uh, sea store we still we would not be uh, 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 requesting any uh, beer wine or liquor license for this site either Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, seeing that there is no one else uh, present to come forward, I will uh, I will close oral communications at this time. We'll move on to uh, item 5A, approval of the minutes. I'll make Regular a meeting. motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I abstain. Uh, we have no items for the consent calendar. Uh, item 7A, which um, is actually not a public hearing, correct? Uh, yes, Mr. Um, Chair. Uh, commissioners, I need to point out that unfortunately we identified this on the agenda as a hearing. It is not a hearing. My apologies for that, that mistake. Um, it was not published as a hearing. And just for the record, uh, and to make sure that you're aware, you closed that hearing last month. And so there wouldn't be the opportunity to open it tonight well, you'd have to re-notice it in order to be able to uh, consider any additional testimony. So the hearing, uh, there's not a hearing scheduled for this evening for this item. It's just an item for your consideration. And if I could really quick, we did pro uh, provide as at your request uh, based, oh, I don't know if. I, I need to yes. excuse myself. Sorry. I'm just trying to. Yep, my apologies. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and I, I just also wanted to mention that I wasn't here last time, so. Um, I'm going to stay up here and chair this, but I won't be participating in the, the discussion or the decision on this, just so everybody knows. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I just wanted uh, to mention very briefly, and I'll uh, let you uh, deliberate, but uh, at the request uh, or at the direction that was given at the last meeting, uh, we have provided a resolution of denial uh, with findings that we believe represent uh, <coughs> what was discussed at the last meeting. And uh, I realize you do have a letter uh, in front of you that was provided to us. It uh, just mentioned to you earlier, um, but we're, we'll leave that uh, at this point for the commission to deliberate and discuss. And if you have any questions, uh, both time and I are here to, to answer them. Okay, thank you. Um, so with that, 
I believe all the commissioners up here have seen the, the letter from the client and just heard uh, his request. Um, and I'm going to leave it to you guys to have some discussion around that and come to a decision. Uh, on whether you know whether yeah. to accommodate his request or um, or move forward, I'll go first. <laughs> I think we should, um, however we do it administratively, we don't we um, re, 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 re set up another hearing or another notice to open the public hearing to uh, the next meeting. I would not. I would not want to deny. I would not want to deny the, um, you know, move forward on the resolution of denial. I'd like to see, see, keep it open and allow the applicant to make changes and so forth and represent at a public hearing for the item. Can I have a question? Question, staff. Can we bifurcate the um, the denial so that uh, deny only the the uh, well, the CU is the CUP was the CUP for the wa for the car wash. Really, I mean, because if it was if there was no car wash there, it would just would have just been the site plan review, or would it still have been a CUP? It, it would have been it would have been a site plan review. Yeah, the the car wash shows on the site plan, so right, I understand therefore that. part yeah. of the site plan review for right. So could, can we can we uh, um, can we bifurcate the denial so that we deny the car wash, but not recommend the, the, uh, not just bifurcate it from the denial. It doesn't, and not, and, and have it not be an approval of the remainder, the store, because I, I agree with Commissioner Lowe, that should be re-noticed for another meeting so that all we would be addressing at that meeting would be the, the store. Yeah. Can that be done? I think my, uh, the, city attorneys discuss that yeah if if that is the will of the planning commission i think the cleanest way to handle that would be to direct staff to return yet again with a resolution of denial that's specific to the cup and then by vote of the commission um, directing staff to re-notice and bring back the site plan aspect of the project as revised for further consideration by the commission Okay. If, if the applicant is then that could be done at the, at the, if, it's, if that's the next meeting well for sure the denial at the next meeting mm -hmm. and possibly the site plan review at the next meeting right we're site having a meeting in November without right? the car wash we're having a meeting in November yep. yeah yeah I'm good with that yeah I'm okay with that <clears throat> I'd like to just point out that um, the res resolution to deny uh, does speak about the car wash, which was a, a large part of our discussion last week. But there's also uh, issue with the aesthetics of the of the property, and the lack of design. Um, so if we're going right. to entertain this, they they should probably want to uh, address those issues. Right. All part of the site plan. It's if if I may to be clear again, if that's the direction the. Planning Commission is moving. I would want to be clear that this is not in any sense of the word an approval of the site plan. It's more right. of a concession to the request being made by the applicant that the commission is willing to consider a revised or updated site plan that perhaps addresses some of the concerns that have been raised by staff and the commission That's at the previous right. hearing. Right. Right. Yeah. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. All right, I have a motion and a second. Um, and to be clear, the motion is to deny the CUP for the car wash and to um, allow, to continue the site plan review and allow the applicant an opportunity to address some of the concerns um, that have been raised by the commission. Does that sound accurate? Uh, the, the denial of the resolution is Technically, it's direction to staff to return at the next meeting with the resolution denying the CUP mm -hmm. component for the, only uh, for the car wash. while allowing the site plan review to come right. back. Right. So, okay. Okay. We're clear on that. I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I abstain. Uh, motion carries. Okay,
You know, if we would have done him last, he still would have been here and listened to us. Um, all right, that takes us to item 7B, uh, conditional use permit 19-03, uh, ambulance service in the planned light industrial zone at 3597 Brighamman Drive. Can I have a staff report? Uh, Chair Riley and members of the Planning Commission, um, I want to ask the city attorney first, can we hold a, a public hearing without the applicant here? Yeah. We yes. can. Okay. All right. Conditional use permit 1903 is a consideration of a condition, conditional use permit for an ambulance service use uh, to be located at 3597 Brigman Drive in the Planned Light Industrial Zone. Uh, the applicant would have been here tonight. He was Mark Jessner, uh, care ambulance. Uh, the unit was is used as a rest area for ambulance drivers and employees. And there is a uh, parking area that is, I mean, parking spots that are set aside for the ambulances and two parking spots for the, the employees' personal cars. Uh, the location is operational 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And it's uh, located within a 1,720 square foot tenant space in the Brigham and Corporate Center uh, Plaza, which is near Brigham and Drive and Los Alamitos Boulevard. Uh, the business has a lobby, offices, break room, and a gym. Uh, the center share, has a shared parking lot for the three industrial buildings. Uh, they have enough space for all the parking there. Uh, the unit averages approximately eight to 10 calls per shift, and there should not be any reason for them to turn on their sirens uh, until they're into driving on Losalle Boulevard. Uh, that's when the uh, Orange County Fire Authority makes a decision on whether or not they turn on their ambulance or not. It's controlled by them. Uh, and they can make this a standing rule for their um, drivers that they don't turn on the siren until they hit Losalle Boulevard. And there is a con condition in your staff, I mean, in your resolution that shows that. And then also, if, if the sirens and the lights become an issue, there is a condition that, that requires a revisit of the approval if, if there becomes a problem with this. Uh, and I have to also tell you, in the finding section of uh, the uh, resolution, section two, we're going to make a couple of changes. Uh, in the draft resolution, if it's approved by you, uh, that uh, change it from commercial in the it's in the findings section one and two in that section uh, com to correct it from commercial recreation use to ambulance service use. Those were left in there by me. So uh, staff recommends approval of CUP 1903 unless uh, additional contrary information is. Uh, given tonight and that concludes my report back to you chair Riley all right thank you um, any discussion up here <coughs> anyone care to make a motion I'll make a motion to approve oh this is a public hearing. You, yeah. You, you could technically open. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't look so as much interest. I'll open the public hearing. <laughs> uh, ask anyone to come forward. Sorry, I usually I see people out there and it yeah. kind of <laughs> tells me to. Um, all right, seeing no one come forward, I'll go ahead and, and close the public hearing and bring it back. I'll make question. a motion to approve. I have a motion. Second. I have a motion. With and a changes. Based, based on the oh, with changes. changes. Yeah. yeah. Um, I have a motion and a second to approve um, with the changes as noted by uh, staff member Oliver. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> None? Uh, motion carries. And. Wow. <laughs> so 20 minutes. Uh, all right, that takes us to uh, staff reports, which we have none, discussion none. Uh, items from the Community Development Director. Mr. Chair, Commissioner, just two items. Uh, first of all, uh, as a reminder, we've changed uh, to avoid conflict with the coming holidays in November and December. We've changed those dates and moved them up a week. So your next meeting will be 
on Wednesday, November 20th, and then the following meeting will be on Wednesday, December 18th. So hopefully that works for your schedules. Um, and we do have some items coming, so you know at least we'll have a November meeting and, and likely a December meeting. The second item I wanted to mention is that, the, as, as you may be aware, um, uh, the city has been in the process of uh, soliciting feedback from the community with regards to uh, the fiscal uh, position of the city and our fiscal sustainability uh, work that has been conducted. We've uh, had four or five community outreach meetings. Our fifth one is tomorrow night at six at uh, St. Isidore. But another thing too that we're doing is the, the same presentation is coming to all of the commission meetings. Unfortunately, uh, our, our main staff member that's a uh, part of uh, the, the process is unavailable on Wednesdays for a few weeks. He's, he's a retired uh, person that, uh, retired finance director that also teaches, and so he's had a conflict with teaching a class on Wednesday nights. So we will have him come speak to you, but it won't be until your December meeting. And I know, I know at least uh, um, uh, Commissioner DeBolt has seen the, the presentation, and uh, and you've seen, and th yes, thank you. You've been you were there as well. Was the council meeting the last council meeting? They actually did the presentation before the council meeting. Uh, that was for uh, traffic commission. No, we haven't. Yeah, they we haven't, were, we haven't done were, it. We haven't done it for council yet. So uh, we uh, we went to the traffic commission meeting. I think that's what you were at. Was oh, I guess it was. Yeah, it was traffic commission. Yeah, you're right. But, um, but we certainly are, again, trying to uh, uh, gather feedback from the community with regards to some of the issues we're facing uh, going forward and would welcome everybody's feedback. And uh, again, if, if you can make it tomorrow night, that's an opportunity. And then at the December meeting, uh, the team will be here to present uh, that information to you at that time. So with that, that concludes my comments this evening. All right, great, thank you. Um, commissioner reports, anybody, anything? All right, meeting adjourned.